We zijn onderweg naar Tom Robinson in de plaats Winterhaven in de buurt van de stad Tampa. Hij was destijds belast met het toonbaar maken van Kennedy's lichaam voor de begrafenis. Who else was present at that moment? Oh, lots of people. What kind of officials, for instance? I really don't know. Uh, I had a job to do. I was under pressure. Many times they called down and said, how long are you going to be? How long are you going to be? How long are you going to be? But we couldn't rush it. We had to take our time. And were the people from the FBI or CIA? Oh, yes. Or? They were all over the place. Hmm. I talked to some, but I, I can't remember who they are or what their jobs were. I did talk to one gentleman that was a ballistics expert, and he held a test tube with pieces of shrapnel that uh, the pathologist had uh, picked out of the skull. Mm -hmm. And there were about that many in the bottom of a, like a test tube. What do you remember about the wounds uh, you, wit uh, you witnessed? Well, the one at the back of the head, of course, is the major one. That's the one that took him, one that killed him. It's like that. But it's right here, right at the medulla. Yeah. What happened to the brains of the president? It was removed. Of course, the back portion of the brain was badly torn up. And it was what put into a jar it? and taken away. And am I right that the brains are still uh, lost, disappeared? Well, that's what I heard that they disappeared. Isn't that strange? It's very strange.